Nice guys. A recent survey was conducted on a show called The Real. This survey was a look at how women felt about nice guys in their audience. Today I'm going to share with you the results of this survey. Starting with the number one complaint about nice guys. <laughs> uh, you see, the survey did not come back positive. So here is the number one issue with nice guys. Number one, boring. Yes, I'm sorry, but they said nice guys are just plain old boring. They sit there hard, trying so hard to be nice instead of being themselves. They basically cater and pander and they try to elicit nothing but smiley faces from women. Apparently, they just want to please women too much. They also have no verbal game and are often nervous just talking to a woman they find attractive. With no verbal game, women get bored to tears on dates with nice guys if they will suffer accepting one. Problem number two, weak. Yes, nice guys are often seen as being weak males. And this is because they bend over to pander and cater to women. And this comes off as being weak, even though they, the nice guys, falsely defend to the death their very weak behavior. Nice guys do not give off a vibe that they can protect a woman also. But a sure sign of their weakness shows up in complaint number three, which is calls every day, all day long. Nice guys call every day and often don't, women don't want to hear from them all day long or every day. A man who calls a woman too much gets irritating to them. And he is seen as being number four, which is clingy. Yes, indeed. The panel said weak men are definitely clingy men. And no woman wants to be around a clingy man. In fact, clingy men are known to do weird and often life-threatening things to women, such as stalk them. You see, phone calling every day, all day long, can be one version of stalking. Unfortunately, weak men want to make sure she isn't sleeping with someone else because their game is weak and they don't trust their manhood or their women. Unfortunately, basically, the problem stems from their own inner issues. Now, women don't ask for that when they agree to date a man. I mean, they're hoping that this man will actually be a real man who has conquered his inner issues and is re ready for the dating pool. But way too often, weak men lack, number five, lacking in masculinity. You see, a masculine man feels good to a woman's mind, body, and soul. What you need to understand is that women whom are, whom are feminine are attracted to their opposite, which is a masculine man. In today's society, women are complaining about the lack of masculinity in men these days such as when they see a man walking down the streets with a man bun on his head. Unfortunately, men are taking on the characteristics of women, which just isn't attractive to grown women, although some younger women may find it attractive if it's combined with an edge of masculinity or a masculine edge. Number six, the complaint was nice guys are too predictable. They said nice guys have boring personalities. They do the same thing day in and day out. They are often not very adventurous. They lack spontaneity. Nice guys, they often ask a woman what they want to do instead of having things planned that is different instead of doing the same old thing day in and day out. Hey, you know you're a nice guy when you say on a Friday night, I don't know, dear, what do you want to do? Now that makes a woman's guts curl up into her intestinal tracts out of sheer boredom. And one of the hosts on the show stated number seven. Number seven, sex isn't mind-blowing. 
Now, if you can picture a low masculinity male trying to have sex with a hot woman, and you can see why this complaint came out of, as I said, actually one of the show's hosts. I mean, of course, weak men suck in bed. Duh. You see, women are turned on by a man who takes control in the bedroom. A man who knows how to rock her world. And that takes confidence, which is the main issue that nice guys are low or lacking in. If you want to learn how to give a woman mind-blowing sex, then you should visit my store by clicking on the link in the screen. Especially if you're tired of being a nice guy. Hey, one of the hosts said she dated players as they are unpredictable and keep her on her toes. But let me get back to the nice guy in, in the bedroom. Can you envision this? I'm sorry, dear. Did I do something wrong? What can I do, dear? A nice guy trying to have sex with a hot chick that's used to dudes that can rock her world? Now you see why you actually need the tools to equal the playing field. Click on the link and visit my store.